Hey everyone, this is Mike, and last week I ended up getting all of my trusts level to their new level cap. So today I'm going to talk about what trusts are, for those that don't know what they are, why you would want to use them, and also what you can get from leveling them all to level 90. So let's begin with the what. Trusts are NPCs of characters that you interact with in the story that you can take with you to play through story dungeons, and they're available starting from Shadowbringers. There's also two versions of your trusts for each dungeon. You have the avatars and you have the scenario mode. Scenario mode is always available, but only lets you play with characters that are relevant to the point in the story that said dungeon is at. So in the dungeon run that you can see in the background, you get to play with three characters that you can't use for any of the other dungeons. And you also can't play with any of your normal companions because it wouldn't make sense story-wise. And I'm keeping it a bit ambiguous for those that haven't reached this part of the story yet. But for those that have done the story, you know who I'm talking about. So those are the scenario trusts. They're always available to run dungeons with you, but you can't choose from the full roster of trusts, as in who you want to take with you. The avatars, on the other hand, are going to have to be leveled if you want to take them with you into higher level dungeons. And I believe that if you didn't level them back in Shadowbringers, that you'll have to go back and level them to 81st before you can use them in Endwalker dungeons. But I'm not 100% sure on that, because I had my trust at 80 before Endwalker came out. So why would you want to use trusts? Well, there's a few reasons. One could be that you want to do it for the story immersion. You get to take the characters that you're interacting with during the story with you into the dungeons, and they all have their own dialogue and interactions for certain parts of a dungeon or for certain mechanics that you come across, and it has certainly given me a laugh at certain points. Another reason could be is that they play at your pace. When running through a dungeon with other people, I don't want to slow the group down to go and read some of the little lore bits that are scattered around a dungeon. With trusts, I don't have to care, because they're not real people, and they won't run ahead while I look around the scenery or when I'm reading some of these lore bits. Lastly is queue times. I play the tank for this main scenario quest, so my queue times were quite fast, but if you're playing, let's say, a DPS for example, then your queue times could be a lot slower. And while there are certainly other activities that you could do while waiting in queue, when I'm going through the story, I don't want to get distracted by side questing. I want to go on with the story. So trusts let you skip that queue. Now, I do know that using trusts to run a dungeon isn't as efficient as running it with real people. They don't AoE when mechanics are going on they often drop dps there's probably some other things as well point being a run with trusts usually takes a little while longer than if you were to run it with your average duty finder group and i'm going to say average group because i've certainly had some runs where going with trusts would have been a lot faster but i can probably count the bad runs that i've had on one hand Maybe too, because I've spammed a lot of dungeons at the start of Endwalker. But in general, I think a dungeon takes around 18 minutes or so, give or take a few minutes, depending on the dungeon itself, and then also the group that you get. Whereas with trusts, you can count an extra 5 minutes. The run that you're seeing in the background took me around 23 minutes, and that is with me trying my best to do good damage as well. But it certainly isn't so slow that I wouldn't want to run it with trusts. So why bother leveling? What do you get for it? Well, not a lot to be honest. There's a title for getting all of them to 80, which is Trusted Friend, if I'm not mistaken. And now in Endwalker, there's another one for getting them all to 90, which is Of the Seventh Dawn. You also get to glamour your trusts once they reach level 90, but once they are at 90, I didn't really bother using them again, so I didn't really see that come into play all too much. Although I did see it for a little while, because right now there is an extra trust in Endwalker. Back in Shadowbringers there were six of them, meaning that you could easily split them into two groups and then you were the fourth player, but now there are seven, so after you've leveled two groups to 90, you're going to have one character that is still stuck at 80, or well, 81, and that felt a bit bad. Going through the leveling process for two groups already takes quite a while, and now having to do it a third time for just one character? I wish I would have either stuck with six trust or went all the way to nine, because this just didn't really feel all that good. But luckily enough, trusts don't require a lot of attention. You can queue into a dungeon, drag them to a mob pack, and then have them do their thing while you go and do something else on the side. I, for example, did a lot of leveling while I was making videos. I just have to do the boss fights and that was it. The rest of the dungeon I was essentially AFK working on videos. There were a lot of runs where I didn't do that, of course, but I would still get experience from it, because it's the same as running a dungeon with other people 
people and it also guarantees that you get to loot from the dungeon so that's quite nice if you're after gear you can always need on it if you're on set job of course so that's usually not an issue but the minions for example will always go to you if they drop and because of that i now own all of the minions except the one from the level 85 dungeon and the one from the level 90 dungeon but that's because i never did the level 90 dungeon with trust so that's quite nice they also expanded upon the trust system this expansion and let us use them for the level 89 trial which they hadn't done before and i kind of hope that they let us do that more in the future because it was a really nice experience doing that fight with your companions while I would like trusts to become a bit more efficient at running dungeons, I also know why that probably won't happen. If trusts are on the same level as your average duty finder group, then why even bother with duty finder anymore? Trusts will guarantee that you don't get bad teammates and they also make you skip the queue. So while it would be nice that they were better for those that are going after the titles, I know that they can't do it because otherwise Duty Finder would lose a lot of players. But getting my trust level this expansion was still a fairly relaxing process and if they are still around in the next one then I will most likely do it again even if all you really get for it is a title and some achievement points. But that's gonna do it for this video so I want to thank you for watching, I want to thank my patrons for their support and I'll see you in the next one.